Our favorite thing is saving developers time and effort, and our remediation technology, called root fixes, is fantastic for just that. Let's have a look. Here's a vulnerability in the dependency HTTP proxy agent, which is vulnerable in all versions smaller than 2.1.0. And so in order to fix the vulnerability, we must get HTTP proxy agent to at least version 2.1.0. The difficult part, though, is that as we can see in this introduced through dependency tree, HTTP proxy agent is not a direct dependency. It is a transitive dependency to Nightwatch, which depends on HTTP proxy agent. That means that in all likelihood, if we try updating HTTP proxy agent here and here to version 2.1.0, the dependency tree will fail as upstream dependencies, pack proxy agent, proxy agent and Nightwatch, will likely not be able to handle the large version jump. To solve this, we have created a graph database that contains all relationships of all dependencies in all versions for all of our supported languages. This allows us to query things like, give me the smallest version of Nightwatch that depends on the smallest possible version of HTTP prox agent that is at least version 2.1.0. The results are what we can see here in the UI, where we can see that we need to update Nightwatch from version 0.9.28 to version 1.0.4. And that will result in HTTP proxy agent reaching version 2.1.0 downstream. This means that we have a few very powerful benefits. Uh, number one, it guarantees our users that we will not break their dependency trees. It also decreases the likelihood of breaking changes to your code as we fall the smallest, find the smallest possible update that solves the issue instead of just updating to the latest version. It also saves a lot of time compared to finding the smallest version possible manually, which involves digging through old versions of the repo on, on GitHub in order to find if it depends on the correct version of HTTP proxy agent. Lastly, it can also actually result in us being able to fix vulnerabilities where there is no official fix. Being that we often discover that in a later version, it might be that Nightwatch doesn't need HTTP proxy agent anymore. And thus, updating to that later ver version of Nightwatch gets rid of the vulnerable dependency altogether. This technology is available both through the UI and through our fixed pull requests, where we do these changes for you, and generally save developers a bunch of time.